Today's a protein sparing modified fast day. What have Harry and I been up to? I'm gonna share, but you guys, let's get this day started. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. We are in the middle of our Drop the Weight Before the Holidays November Challenge. Today is a protein sparing modified fast day. P make protein your priority, you guys. Eat no more than 10 grams of carbs and no more than 30 grams of fat. Keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, down. Yes, indeed, I am dressed for success because I am going to do Tai Chi today. Yes, I am. And then Harry and I, are gonna take our grocery list and go to Safeway to buy the rest of my Thanksgiving dinner that I'm going to be doing. We originally were gonna to go to Felicia and Brad's. We discussed it because their dog is going through chemo and everything. Um, they're coming here instead. So I'm making the dinner, got my turkey right here. There's my turkey. She's in there. Yes, indeed. Yep. Last night we went to Bash's after we were done. What did we do yesterday? We got up bright and early. We hit the ground running because I wanted to go get containers for my storage unit, but I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg. So we went to Costco first. They didn't have any of the containers I wanted, but they had this nifty looking thing here. Here, let me turn, should I bring it in? Yeah, sure, I'll do. Yes, they have this beautiful Costco. I don't even know how to work it, but it bends down. It does. It bends down, bends up. Things fold up. You can lay it flat. You can do a four-cornered one. And so we bought this for Harry. He was all excited about it. It was ninety-nine ninety-nine. So it was about a hundred bucks. But we use them all the time. I'm gonna put it right here. Look how moving like. That'll be great for my camera gear. Yes, it will be. Because of all the heavy boxes and stuff we've been moving. Then we went to the storage unit, took even more. I didn't realize, I've been prepping forever, and I didn't realize how many vegan things I had. Oh, man. Like, um, from the uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you can get in 10, uh, number 10 cans, you can get food very affordably that's for storage, like rice and beans and um, wheat and carrots and dried apples, and it just goes on and on. But they're more vegetarian, vegan friendly. So we gave Chalice and David a whole bunch. We gave Felicia and Brad some, and because Brad owns the storage unit, we can get in there 24 seven, no matter what happens, cause he's got the keys. We can, we put in a whole bunch of stuff and we brought back <laughs> oh, Christmas stuff. Yeah, which was stupid. So yeah. yeah, cause I'm having my whole house clean. Come over here and look. This is just some of my Christmas stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, right here. So yeah. we have to find a place for this. Now before, oh, and there's the wreath hanging here on my chair. Yeah, well, you know. Anyway. It's in a little um, container, see? It's in a wreath container. Are these a wreath container. Is this one Chalice made you? Yes, my peacock one yeah. she made me. Anyway, you guys. So then we went on a hunt for containers for inexpensive prices because containers now are getting so darn expensive. So we ended up going to several stores. We ended up going to the container store and they have everything 50% off and they had really nice ones that fit our shelves exactly, which is like perfect and awesome. So we bought a whole bunch of those, but while we were there, Harry and I were talking for his camera gear <clears throat> and other things since our third bedroom, we have a guest bedroom and then we have a third bedroom, a cupboard and an area where he can take his printer, his 3D printer and all his stuff and put it in the other room. Well, there was a floor display of a nice heavy metal closed container already set up and then next to it was this other one. We'll share it when we get that room all done. Um, 
and it was so inexpensive. It was like $200. And then the other one, they were half off, but they were this display floor all, models. already put together. It was already put together and everything has, they're locked cabinets, you can key them and everything. So we <laughs> paid for those, came home, got the dolly that, that we, we had just bought, bought right out weird. of the blue yeah. went took our truck took our quilts went back to the container store loaded up that big huge those two huge things brought them back got them back in the back room right and by then it was like eight o'clock mm -hmm. and so we decided that we couldn't film we didn't film we filmed a little teeny weeny bit but we got we were driving so many places that we put all the containers in the back room and I started doing stuff in the back room and we did that until 11 o'clock last night mm -hmm. and finally Harry said I need to put ice on my back I said I need the heater my heating pad my UTK far infrared heating pad on there and so that's what we did so almost there that, in the back the thing room is that that heating pad is like it's oh. a it's a godsend yeah, it really is. it's wonderful it's amazing so I'm getting my pantry done got to get all that stuff out of there because I'm having a deep cleaning crew come in huh, Friday so I've got to get the back room done now too because I've got to get those um, pieces of furniture we bought out of the doorway they're in there we just pushed them in there we've got to do that so I can get my Christmas stuff into that room and shut the door they don't need to go in there my guest room is always pristine we never let the dog in there unless we're in there so it's pretty clean it's easy to care for it's the rest of the house that needs it right so you guys we, have, we go Harry needed to rest I needed to rest and it's a good thing we did but I took a um, Tylenol sleeping aid. Harry had to take a pain pill because his, he was pretty, pretty crunchy. And it's a good thing we did because we needed it. But I'm ready to go today. Everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, working out, lifting, pulling, pushing. I've got bruises. I've got a bruise here. I've got a bruise here. I've got this bruise. I cut my toe, doing all the stuff that we've been doing. Broke, uh, broke nails, this typical one. Typical windy fashion. Broke this one, Tell cracked that one. So anyway, you guys, what did we weigh? Because trust me, we've been working out. Mm -hmm. We're yo-yoing between the, the two, we're, we keep yo-yoing yep. back and forth, right? We got down into 177, then we started doing all this stuff around the house, and we've gained a little bit of water weight. Plus, we're not drinking the water like we should, because we've been hopping in the car going here, there, and everywhere. Yes, we have. Oh, yeah. And then we took quilts with us, uh, you know, moving quilts yeah, that are thinner. Blankets, yeah. We got home. And one of the quilts was gone. So it must have flown out the back of the truck and we must not have seen it. So we freaked out. So we went down Camelback and it was sitting almost on the sidewalk uh, at a car dealership. So I don't know, somebody might have moved it or whatever. So we went in there and picked it up and it's got some tears and stuff in it, but at least we found it and it didn't well, cause it's an issue. It's still useful for moving. It is, okay. it is. So yeah. Oh. It's just been one thing after the other, but that's the exciting news because I'm getting all of this done. Yes, I am, and I'm gonna be able to keep up with it um, going forward, and that's the nice thing. I can't wait till I get my kitchen oven clean. See, Harry was the oven cleaner. Harry was the vacuumer. You know, we have separate jobs that we do. So with his bad back and my bad back, we look at each other going, hmm, yeah. So anyway, I'm excited about all of this, you guys. And I'm loving my new refrigerator. Got my little uh, can containers. Yep. Got those. So that looks good. I can't believe how much room I have in my refrigerator. I, I really know, it's can't. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's awesome. Awesome. It's Love right. it. Well, these fit three deep, which is like really neat because the other one only fit like two deep so I've got room on these shelves and it's neat because the big one sits right there when you close the door the way they've done the shelving in here is awesome I'm so glad yes it was a hassle for those of you who are brand new I bought a new refrigerator with handles they brought it the door was crooked and it was warped and so they left it it was this whole thing but this is the third refrigerator I went and got a different one and it's doing good except 
it's settled and they've got to come out and refix the door because it's not it's closing but it's not hanging right anyway enough about that got my order of keto chow so i've got salted caramel coffee toffee banana these are like all my favorites and this chocolate core and so what i need to do today is take my empty four containers have harry change wash them out have him change we just take the name of it and put it here so I can get all these put away sometime today yes indeed but it's just one thing after the other and then when I'm all done with everything I need to go back under these two counters again and start all over oh yeah and I did I did under the kitchen counter I took all that stuff out too but you guys don't want to see that because the trash can's like the first thing you see. Well, we got a shelf unit now out in the outside room. Yes, so we do. Whatever we... stuff that you don't need in the house. Yes, we're putting out there. Can heat. Yep. We'll stick out there. Yep, because we took the shelving from my unit, I mean, from my pantry, the two big shelves that were in there, and we moved them out to huh, the shed. So we've been moving, pulling, pushing and everything else, and I did my pantry first, just to look at it and get it all in order, and then I'm probably gonna rearrange as I go. I even did the cupboards over my washing machine and moved some stuff there and back and forth. So anyway, you guys, it's a never ending story, and we found more, even more um, emergency food in the Mylar bags, freeze-dried stuff that we're gonna take down to the container unit too. I'm leaving some here just in case there's, you know, something weird like an AM. Anyway, uh, in, unless we can't leave the house for some reason and then I have enough here too. So I do. It's time for us to eat and it's a protein sparing modified fast day. So you guys come back in the next segment so I can make us something for breakfast. Harry, the sous chef is gonna cut, I cooked pork chops the other night in the air fryer and he's gonna dice the pork chops up into bite-sized nice pieces for our breakfast today. There's no bone in that one? How'd we luck out on that? Something. This is my 77 cent pork, you guys, this was, that this I got on sale. Growing on pork without bones. This is the non, there's your, nope, that's not, nope, a, that's bone. not a bone. Just that's cut great. that into thirds so we get bite-sized pieces. That's the nan, nan, oh, nan, nan Nakano knife. Nakano knife. Cuts right Made in everything. Japan. It's absolutely fabulous. Yep. Thank you, Nakano. Man. No small enough? Yep, they're perfect. A little bit more. This one's That's better. got a huge this bone. Got a can bone. you get the bone off of it where you can see it? Watch your hands, that's a very no. sharp knife. I heard a bone crunch, or cartilage crunch. Cartilage, I think, yeah, it's cartilage. That's all right, just. It won't hurt the knife. But. No, it won't hurt you either. Dr. Barry says eat the cartilage and eat the hard, crunchy parts at the end of the, like chicken bones and stuff so that you get your collagen. Just don't break your tooth, right? Right. right. <laughs> And that'll be enough meat. I think this will be enough for both yeah, of us. Yeah, it will here. be. These two. When I get these two go out. Oh, here, wait a minute. See, I'm the sous chef. I'm loving it. There you go. Okay. Yep, we'll wash that. We'll come back in the next segment, you guys. So we still have a pork chop left. If Harry gets hungry tonight, he can have that. Actually, that little bone can go in the bag. I'm heating up the pork. I'm cooking in a nonstick pan. So I'm going to steam this just for a little bit. On high, just to heat the pork and it'll burn off the little bit of water and that'll heat the pork and then I'm gonna put uh, egg white protein, egg whites, so we have a nice high. I'm gonna pour this out here, sorry. I'm gonna give us some egg whites, then I'm gonna put some pluck spicy and you guys, I have an order of pluck on the way because I'm running out of pluck. I'm gonna put some real salt cherry, smoked salt, 
Don't forget, we have a 15%. We have discounts on these things, you guys, and we're going to use La Victoria Hot Sauce on our pork. Yes, we are. So let me let that steam yeah, just I like for a the minute. Hot sauce. Just steam it until the water's gone. That heats up the meat really nicely and helps keep it tender and moist, not um, overdone and dried out. Still got a little bit of steam in there. Water isn't going to hurt the eggs either. So that should be good. See, and then your pan is nice. The bottom's nice. I'm gonna add my egg whites. One and a half. About a half. There you go. One and a half. I'm gonna put some cherry smoked salt from Redmond's on here. And pluck, which I love. This is the spicy, man, I'm running low. Hope the pluck gets here. Right? Yeah. I did use pluck and I used seasoning on my pork, so it's seasoned already and cooked nicely. You guys, I'm loving this. This is so nice. Yes, indeed. And I found these. They were gifted to us. Natural catch uh, tuna fillets, so I'm gonna probably cook these, I don't know, tonight or tomorrow, but I found them. I found stuff, you guys. I'm like, oh my, I didn't know I had that. We need to eat it. I mean, seriously. It was, that's the problem when you just let your cupboards go like that. And you think, oh, I'm gonna put them in here, but I'll come back later. Mm, later never happens for us. We're just too busy. So I've gotta do it and keep it pretty while I'm here. And uh, like Carrie said, now that we've got the shelving, I can go through and get some of the dishes that I use on occasion or some of the uh, like seasonal things that I do, not all the time or, um, you know, stuff like that and put it out in our storage unit in a container. And then I have it and I got clear ones so I can see through it and know where my stuff is, right? That's the key. Know where your stuff is. Ooh, this looks delicious. Now, if it were a regular day, I'd put some cheese on this, put some sour cream on this, maybe some uh, side of guacamole. You know, you can, this would really make a nice breakfast burrito. Ooh, breakfast burrito. Right? All those things. And that little bit of steam helped keep the eggs off the bottom of the uh, pan without any oil or butter or bacon grease or anything like that that's going to cause you to get more fat on a protein spraying modified fasting. Let me get my plates. My fall plates. Ooh, Harry, this is a lot of food. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good, though. You know what would have been great with this? What? Toast! Well, you can have the last piece. How's that? Nah, that's not well, this, well, I don't need it. We'll cut it in half. No, I don't need it. But here, you better... i got to get the toaster out. Just a second. And just let this pan rest and everything will be good. Be careful, Harry, because this is hot. Okay. Let me get the toaster out. Ooh, 
last piece of bread. I gotta make bread today, you guys. Oh, never ending duties, never ending. I'm just gonna give you, it's cut goofy, but I'm just gonna fun. do it like that. It'll, it'll toast. Mm -hmm. And clean this for the next batch. Yes, indeed, excuse me, dear. Oh, there we go. My hot sauce. Yep. Oh, God, I have the hot sauce. Tuh. Hold for a second. Is pickles on that plate? No, it's the plate. It's the, it's the flour. pumpkins. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fall pumpkin. Yeah. You need more? A little bit? That's good. Should do it. Get a napkin. <sighs> Wonder if I need a little ketchup with mine. I might need just a little bit because of the eggs. I like that sweetness of ketchup. You know, just don't put it on mine. Just a little bit. I didn't even give myself probably a teaspoon's worth. Ah, oh, yes indeed. See how your toast is doing? I've got ground bison out for tonight. And we've got to, like I said, we've got to take some stuff to storage. And then we'll have dinner. Got to make bread, etc. Okay, you guys. Harry, I'm just going to pop it. Yeah, that's fine. Just warmed it up for you. Yeah, that's good. It's not burnt. You like, you like burnt, but it's not burnt. Anyway, you guys, there is our delicious breakfast. It's protein sparing modified fast day. And you guys got to eat now. In my laundry room that I needed. Oh my gosh, even the water's back. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, look at there. And I still it, have room to hang my blouses. But it's a much blouses. smaller pile. I think I've got enough egg white protein powder now. Yeah, she got like seven Six. or eight of them. Well, I caught and I got seven there and one underneath. I got all my stuff up here. I've got some um, food that I've been collecting for emergencies and they're the ones that are 25 years. And believe me, if we get into some of these, it's going to be starvation mode. Yeah. I got all my cupboards done. Yep. I got this cupboard done. It's amazing. I got this cupboard done. Because we couldn't even see any of this thing. Right? And I've got room. I've got containers with room, you guys. This is my keto chow. This is my coffee. Canned goods. Down there is more stuff that I've got for um, emergency, but I can use it when I need it. Yep. This little guy right here is my baking stuff right here. My vinegar's down there. I've got another container that I can use, and this one right here I can use. Hey, you're going too fast. You I'm sorry. Like that, right? Yeah. Got my vinegars. Gonna, watch where the cameras is, so you'll know where I'm Got all my about. sugars. All my baking goods, my powder. I got an empty container there. I've got stuff across here to do stuff with. All of my paper goods there. I've got more stuff in here. Can you see? More food down at the bottom. If you look, this is more than the, the freeze-dried meats and freeze-dried vegetables down there. Yep, down here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Got my noodles and some... This is more of my, uh, like my butter, my heavy cream, my egg yolk, my powders right there. Coconut milk, my MCT oils. This is my Ziploc baggies and all that stuff. Batteries, These are batteries and stuff. carpet remover and Swiffer. Yeah, and carpet batteries. remover. You, need, you always need carpet remover. <laughs> carpet spot remover. And then here, I've got my laundry detergent and stuff up here, and then I've got some more paper plates in here, first aid kit that needs to go out. But my vegan foods, which I never throw away, 
They're all vegetarian meat substitutes, vegan emergency food, and trust me, that's what I'm gonna barter with if, if the world goes to hell in a handbasket and we are all bartering for food, that's the stuff that I'm gonna be bartering well, with. Well, it's how close are we to the nearest um, uh, military base? Oh, well, uh, which one? Luke Air Force Base is right next door to Chalice and David. Yeah, so look at how many miles away is that? Well, it's about 30 minutes away. Okay, because they're going to hit that. Well, we have one of the largest uh, nuclear power plants, the Verde Power Plant, too, well, in Arizona. It, it, anyway, I'm just saying, I'm prepared. And see, I got Sally's stuff, her bone broth, and then my stuff here, and then a little bit of herbs that I've got left. Anyway, I'm very excited about this. He's going to build me a rack across the back here that you hang these tools on. Yeah, put that up tomorrow. And my Swiffer is going to go up there too. It's in the it's in the tub getting dry after using it. But you guys, I love this. Well, it's yeah, after so the, nice. After the mess we've been dealing with for the past oh, yeah. four or five years. Oh yeah. Because you know we're basically preppers, and we moved from a bigger place to here and it was cold there well it's because we had power outages every single year we had snowstorms wind storms rainstorms power storms we went without we went without for two to three to four weeks, weeks at a yeah, time I know, right. so we've always prepped our food but here this is one of the this is one of this is the small unit that we bought Harry that was already put together and everything isn't this nice look at the nice wood piece look at this top. nice beautiful piece I said you know what it comes off I would love to have no, that as a can't. cutting board nope. wouldn't this make a beautiful no, cutting board make it all ugly and we've got the big daddy that matches this one in the back room that we have to put together anyway you guys no it's put together we just got no I mean we have to put the room together yeah Anyway, you guys, let's go to the kitchen. It's time for us to eat. We went to the container store. We didn't film it. We bought 10 shoebox size containers for Harry's stuff, four medium size, a whole bunch of different styles because right now they're inexpensive and they're good. Yeah, I mean, I was amazed so, what we got out of there for. Yeah, I am too. Anyway, you guys. Uh, then I have to sit and uh, put a heat on my back, and Harry's got to ice his back, but we've got to eat now, so let's go in the kitchen. Let's make something quick, easy, simple, and protein sparing modified fast, shall we? I'm making spaghetti. I have got two packages of the uh, skinny pasta, the spaghetti style. These are the konjac root ones. I've got a pound of bison 9010 which is the lowest I can find in bison. And I'm gonna just cut it and put it into the pan. And then I'm steaming the water off the noodles after I've drained them really well. Keep this, the noodles steaming on high. I'm gonna wash this in a minute. Get my beef all separated here. I have got some Kirkland organic marinara sauce. You guys, we had a really good day. Lots to do this week, trust me. I feel so good about getting my pantry done. You guys have no idea. I can't believe how much stuff I had in that pantry. If you guys saw the food that I took down to storage. Huh, Harry? Yeah, you're a store. I am. But then we've got it for family, too. What's that? This is... Um, I put in some Redmond organic salt, seasoned salt. I put in some organic Italian herbs. I put in some Bragg's nutritional yeast. This gives us our vitamin Bs, our vitamin Bs. I'm gonna put in that in a little bit. You know, I like spaghetti too. Yes, I know you like spaghetti, but you just had turkey. Your papa fed you turkey, didn't he? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work for this one. Oh, there I go. 
I love this thing. Thank you for the gift. I love this thing. It works. I haven't had a chance to change my clothes or do anything. I gotta take a shower, wash my hair. I I'm gonna make. So soon, I right? think. Hey, I think I'm gonna make bread late tonight because yes, after I eat, I need to go do all that. Oh man. <laughs> Get this to where it's cooking and it's opaque, and all the water's cooked out of it. I get it so that it's browned and then I put my marinara sauce in. What kind of marinara sauce is it? This is Kirkland's Organic Marinara from Tuscany. Yes, indeed. So I'm just gonna, excuse me, Put the lid on this, turn this off. That's the nice thing or the worst thing about having an all electric stove is it's the, the range stays hot, at least mine does. So it just keeps cooking even though you turn it off. Good, my house is getting cleaned professionally on Monday. I'm getting my oven cleaned, which I am so excited about. Harry usually does it, and he's been so good about it, and he hasn't been able to do it because of his back. So, anyway, Did let me get... Did you just give me... Uh, kudos. Kudos for something? Kudos to Harry. Yes, I did. You okay? Oh, yes, I am. Watch out, you almost stepped on your no, puppy dog. Are you okay? So, you don't fine. like spaghetti. You don't. You think you do, but you don't. She just does because you eat it. Don't you say, Al? No, I don't know. I might like it. How do you know? You don't know until you try. Now, I just need some bowls. <sighs> cozies. Need some cozies. I haven't had spaghetti in a couple weeks. I get Someday hungry for Someday in it. the distant future, I think I'll get to have ice cream once again. You think so? Yeah, that's right. I think so. When I'm not dead tired and not doing a hundred million things at once, I think. Okay, you ready? You try to tell me making ice cream is hard. Well, you can make ice cream for me, Harry. Harry, would you like to make me some ice cream tonight? No, I would not. I will go sit down on the couch, and I will put up my feet, put the hot pad on my poor aching back. The last time I tried, it came, out, it came out like chocolate milk. Well, then we will have malts, or shakes. Shake is without the malt. Okay, here we go. Is that mine or yours? This is mine. Why, you want more? Yeah. I know, that's why. <laughs> so I'm asking. Cause you're hungry. Like that, more? Yeah, no, that's good, that's good, that's good. But I'd like to have some sauce and stuff. You would. If there's no meat in this And sauce. some stuff. No, you want stuff? There's no meat in that so sauce. There's what? There's no meat in the sauce. So where did the bison, where'd the pound of bison go? Oh, did you put some in there? Did, who, who is looking through the camera filming me? Uh, I, I don't have any idea. Oh, Marty. Oh, man. Did she put meat in there? Hmm. Look. What? Come close. What is that? Oh my gosh, I think there's meat in there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Don't be afraid now, give me some. What, of some of the invisible meat? Yeah. <sighs> Just because I'm filming doesn't mean I'm paying attention to what's going I on. I guess not, it's kind of like the way you drive. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. Do you want some nutritional yeast on yours? Yes, her? please. Notice how I am light. This? <laughs> and, I, and I say please, thank Ow. you, please. 
This is a very nutty, delicious cheesiness. Yeah, man, I like it. With, on a protein spur and modified fast day. Yep. And uh, you guys, this is our dinner. Yes, it is. Steaming hot right from the oven with meat on it. Yes, indeed. There's meat on that. Yes, yep. there is. You guys, we're going to close out tonight so we can sit down and eat so that I can come back and make some bread and clean up the mess and go take a shower, wash my hair, and start all over again. Yes. Anyway, you guys, tomorrow is a regular keto carnivore day. Yes, it is. Sally says, yes, yes, it is, Mama. I'm going to cross this one off. There we are. Oh, man, you guys, it's getting closer and closer to Christmas every single day. You guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow, won't we, Sal? Now, you better be careful going around that corner because Dad's little contraption is in the way. Dad's got a contraption. Oh, did I show my drink containers, too? But yeah, yeah, I think you did earlier. I did? I, wanna, I want a root beer. <laughs> Me, too. Okay. Are they cold? Yes, they are cold. They've been in there all night. Ah, oh, but I gotta have a drink, sorry. Did you do this part yet? Yes, I did. I'm giving Sally hers. She's being very patient with mom. She is My hands hurt, Sally. I have, I've been doing so much. Okay, on your mark, get set, get. Zoom. Uh, beef organ blend for the win, you guys. See everybody tomorrow. Never know what's going to happen in our house, but we'll share when we have whatever happens happen. Good night, everyone. <laughs>